actually do, and we find out that the suit actually has the ability to absorb kryptonite, therefore meaning with enough kryptonite built into that suit, with Lex wearing that suit, if had Lex been wearing the suit, he was obviously going to use it to defeat um, to defeat Clark, wasn't he? So that was the whole reason why he built the suit in the first place. Um, seeing as he now knows Clark's secret, so. But Lana obviously wears the suit. She had no idea what the suit was really made for. So um, when she found out it could take in kryptonite, she obviously told Clark, and Clark was like, "Well." even though you took it, it means that when I'm around you, he obviously they didn't know how much kryptonite she needed for it to be, to, to, to injure, to hurt Clark, but she just thought in the first instance, when she just took that little bit out of the bomb from the beginning, she just thought, oh well, she absorbs it, that's it, Clark doesn't get hurt. That was the, the first thing that they thought. Um, but as we saw towards the end, you see where the big bomb arrives and on the top of the roof of the Daily Planet, it's got so much kryptonite that when she does take all the absorption, yeah, it means that within five, ten feet, Clark can not go near Lana at all, which really broke his heart and broke her heart, um, but Lex knew what he was doing anyway, as per usual. Um, it's like if the guy doesn't get his own way, then he, yeah, he's like a baby. Lex is a big baby. It's as simple as that. We all know that. Um, the introduction of Toy Man. I quite liked him. I thought he was good. Um, the the actual appearance of him was sort of true to the comics, the way that you know the way that he looks, the appearance, true to the comics because he does come across as a chubby sort of guy anyway, and uh, the nice nice hairstyle that he's got as well. Um, so that that was good. Stay true to the comics that one. Um, the whole Klarna thing though, seriously, I mean did you watch the end where Clark felt like he was ready to die when he started walking towards Lana and wanted to give her a kiss, it was like, dude, seriously, give it up, she's induced with kryptonite, she's going to kill you, you know, it's what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, <laughs> well, you've really fucked it up now haven't you son, that's what I'm going to say, but seriously, the whole Klarna thing, I hope this is the end. I know it's going to sound bad for all the Klarna fans out there, but seriously, the fact that she's now got Kryptonite in her body means that they could not be together. Yay! Bring on Clark and Lois. Thank you. Although, I have one theory of how the Kryptonite can actually be removed from Lana. Green Lantern. Green Lantern has the ability to remove Kryptonite from her body. Yes, he does. So this has to be a way of introducing Green Lantern. You know, she could be over at Coast City one day and happen to bump into some guy called Hal Jordan who is suddenly possessing this, this green ring using the power of his own will. You get my drift, yeah? Yeah? I'm sure the uh, people at DC Comics and Warner Brothers are probably thinking the same sort of thing. It's an idea, I think. What do you lot think? I think it was anyway. I'm rambling on here, aren't I? I'm really sorry. Um, as I say, the episode itself was okay. Mm. And then you had Oliver Queen with his still, still his vendetta against Lex. I still think it's because of the fact that um, his dad killed his parents. Lex's dad, that is Lionel Luther, killed Oliver Queen's parents. So obviously he wanted to get back at Lex for that. So. Excuse me. As far as Oliver is concerned, with Lex dead, everything's fine. Chloe didn't agree to it until Oliver brought up the moment when she killed someone to protect Clark. Oh yeah, we remember that one, don't we? Oh yes, yes, that was interesting. That was. Um, next week's episode is titled Infamous. It is the return of Tori Spelling. Um, that's Aaron Spelling's daughter. Aaron Spelling is he still alive? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, um, Tori Spelling, who plays reporter Linda Lake, the Gossip Queen, basically. Uh, we all remember what happened the last time she was on. So, how's she going to resurface this time? It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen the trailer.
trailer um, for for the new episode. So, well, I will. I'm sure I will see it eventually. I mean, I'm not really one for seeing the trailers all the time. So, don't send me any links, please. Just don't send me any links. When I'm ready, I will watch it. I'm ready to watch it. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how she, what, what, what she what she gets up to this time. Seeing as she knows about Clark anyway, she knows his secret and everything. So we'll see what happens there. Um, but other than that, as I say, interesting episode, not too bad. At least now we know where Lex was. I don't think he's dead though. Even though the truck blew up.